Want to become an Instagram influencer? Search anything on YouTube and you'll get this. Fine tune your niche. Easiest niches to picking a niche. Top five niches. It could be makeup, it could be nails, it could be hair. And it's growing like crazy. All right, it's time to pick a niche. Let's see, I guess I could do fashion and beauty content. No, that's just, that's not who I am. Oh, I could sell courses and become a business mentor. No, fuck that shit. Um, I guess I'm torn. I, I refuse to, to limit myself sometimes. A niche is a segment of a market, and I feel like as creators we're told to pick a niche to grow on social media, but how far do we take this before our identity becomes our Instagram profile? YouTube is a different place than it was 10 years ago. According to Adweek, influencer marketing has risen to a $10 billion industry. This means creators who are making content as a passion are able to now make money and monetize their brand full time. Now, this is not necessarily a bad thing. I think opportunity is amazing. However, have you ever wondered how it's a little harder to find authentic content creators these days? Yeah, I know that money is motivation, but is that the only thing we're holding on to? Hey, my name is Jade. I am a YouTuber that started to make videos since 10 years ago. Um, I've soon realized that there's patterns in the industry where people do something that's trendy, do it over and over again until it gets amount of views and stops. And these trends happen over and over again. I mean, we've seen it with the cinnamon challenge, we've seen it with any other person hopping on a trade. But what I realized is those aren't bad things. But I feel like as a creator, if we're constantly trying to repeat what worked, then who is trying to innovate? If everyone's trying to become a niche and find their industry to find a place to belong, are we just becoming a mold and copying each other? When does true innovation happen? And this got me thinking, why are we so obsessed with finding a niche to define who we are when humans are super complicated emotional creatures? Like I have so many mental breakdowns every day, but I can't do that. I can't post that because that's not my niche. I only post marketing content. I only post beauty videos. If you give yourself a title, do you ever feel limited? This is why I wanted to share this topic that I feel like on Instagram and YouTube, every creator out there, maybe you're watching, you're trying to find a mold to belong, to find your audience to grow. But when is there an end? Are we being creators that are creating with purpose or are we just being a product of a system? Challenge that crazy idea you've been having. The idea that might lead to failure, that is risky. I want you to take that and realize that true innovation and power comes from those moments when it's scary, when you don't know what's happening, when there's unknown, yet you still keep going. That is progress. I'll be honest, all the things I've said about picking a niche and following trends are things I've done. So who am I to give you advice? So that's actually why I made this video. Advice and opinions are just noise. Listen to your own. If you want to make something crazy, go do it. Now, I'm not saying to avoid every algorithm change and to disregard any marketing strategies. You still need that. What I'm saying is don't let what worked yesterday dictate how you're going to live your life tomorrow. So here's the late nights of editing videos. Here's to the arguments. Here's to the crazy ones who work as hard as they can because of passion and purpose. Hey guys, it's Jade. Welcome to my channel. You guys, that video is something that scared the shit out of me. I'm so nervous talking about it right now. We're told as creators to make things that work, use this algorithm, use this keyword. And for the first time, I challenged myself this year to make something that might not work. That's risky, that's weird. And that was today's video. Here's the real truth, you guys. I have two important announcements I wanna share on this video, so don't you wait. Um, if you're a part of Dharma Nation for a while, you know that I struggled with doing shit that might not work, just taking risks. And it might, not, it might sound weird being a high school dropout, trust me, but I was playing it very safe in 2018. And maybe you can tell with the more recent videos on this channel. But I just truly think, what's the fucking point of regurgitating the same thing over and over again um, as being creators? 
which is why you guys know my company PBJ app I've been struggling just putting something out and PBJ is basically my technology company that helps creators grow and I've been trying my best to just like release it and a lot of you guys were so mad because I would never put something out I would say I'm building something but I to be honest you guys I was terrified I don't know um and the first announcement I want to make is we finally put out a product on the market. Um, you guys can see my website, joinpbj.com, and I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm just letting you know that I finally did something that did, <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. And it's these notebooks that basically we create an experience that helps creators create a strategy to grow their brand from zero to 100. And I'm gonna be there right with you. And we did it through these notebooks. I seem to love it so far from the feedback. Um, and I did it. I was really scared to do it. Thank you guys so much for just like sitting by my side. I actually want to thank you guys by meeting you in real life. And I'm going to Boston, New York, London, Germany, and Paris in the month of May. Here are the dates. Okay, I can't wait to meet my East Coast folks and Europe folks. Can't wait to just let you know that in a, in a place that's so you know, cookie cutter and everyone's copying each other and we have to use the same keyword to, to grow. I want to empower those freaky people out there that just want to do shit because they love it, just because they love art. You guys have to know that I actually used to be a filmmaker and musician before marketing. So much empathy for um, anyone who feels really limited because let me know if you want to see me play violin, but I understand how it feels. So I can't wait to meet you guys in those cities. If you want to know more, make sure you guys click the link below in the description box to let me know you're coming and I'll text you the details. <gasps> At the meetups, we're going to go crazy. We're going to hug, talk, and I'm even going to demo the PBJ notebook. So for anyone who's confused about what the fuck I'm building, you can see it in real life. Okay, so like I said, I'm an insecure 18 year old now. Uh, so let me know in the comments below that you like this video. Like this video if you liked it. Um, and subscribe. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. Alright guys, if you want to be the next comment winner, just comment below. Please help me with my self-esteem. <laughs> it's a little bit fragile. I'll catch you guys in the next one, Darmination. Make sure you guys meet me in these cities. If not, request your city below. Catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.